head down the coast to the town of Stonehaven, the county town for the ancient sheriffdom of Kincardinshire for four centuries. The inventor of the pneumatic tyre, Robert William Thompson, was born here in 1822. He also invented road-going steamers, tractor-pulled ploughs, the rotary engine and even the self-filling fountain pen. The harbour is a picture postcard example, much used by pleasure craft and a few local fishermen. Nearby, located on an impressive headland, stands the dramatic ruins of Dunotter Castle. Seat of the Earl's Marshal until forfeited by the last Earl after the 1715 Jacobite Rebellion, it was much restored by the first Viscount Cowdery in 1925 and is now open to the public and is part of Dunecht Estates. In 1562, Cromwellian troops besieged Dunotter, looking for the Scottish crown jewels that had been taken here for safety. However, they had to be smuggled out of the castle to a nearby kirk and secretly hidden under flagstones, where they remain safely undiscovered. Today they're on display in Edinburgh Castle. Travel on down the coast and head inland to the hamlet of Arbuthnot in the Howe of Mearns, an area of some 50 square miles of fertile rolling farmland. The Grassic Gibbon Centre celebrates the life of James Leslie Mitchell, the novelist better known by his pen name Lewis Grassic Gibbon. His best-loved novel is Sunset Song, first published in 1932 and adapted for radio, television and theatre. The purpose-built centre adjoins the village hall and is run by the local community. It features a cafe offering local home baking, alongside an exhibition of the author, including some rare volumes, as well as a book and gift shop. The centre stands within two miles of the farm where Mitchell spent his boyhood, and only yards from the parish school where his talent first flowered. Backtrack to Inverbervie, an ancient royal borough. Indeed, it was here that King David II landed after a period in France on the 4th of May 1341. The Market Cross dates from 1737, and this was the first town in the country to spin linen in 1788. Inverbervie was the birthplace in 1836 of Hercules Linton, the designer of the famous clipper the Cutty Sark, which was built in Dumbarton in 1869. He died at 4 Market Street, the house in which he was born, and is buried in the kirkyard. We continue down the coast to the fishing village of Johnshaven. This was once an important herring fishing port. While still home to a small number of working boats, it's also home to Starfish Studio, the gallery and studio of Kate Mackenzie. It offers quality, affordable, handmade British arts and crafts, with an emphasis on locally made goods. Kate produces bright, colourful paintings and textiles, and her work is on view alongside ceramics, glass, candles, jewellery, wood, mosaics and cards. Located three miles from John's Haven are Brawley Muir Holiday Cottages, two self-catering properties on Brawley Muir Farm with views down to the sea set amid rolling farmland in the Howe of Merns. Stable Cottage has three beds, whilst Dairy Cottage offers two, and both have been tastefully converted from the original farm buildings. Full facilities are available, including linen and kenneling if needed. Fresh eggs may also be available from the farm's free-range hens. Continue south to Montrose, a town with a long and very peaceful history. Indeed, it has been said that no one would ever write a history of the town because nothing had ever happened. Yet, ironically, this was the birthplace of James Graham, the Marquis of Montrose, who, next to Bruce, must take his place as one of Scotland's foremost fighting heroes. The wide high street...